the northeast of England. We will call at Darlington, Durham. This wants Labour land until Brexit and Boris Johnson changed all that. I've come to Stockton to see whether Labour could be on track to win their heartlands back. This week's local elections are dry run for the big general election likely next year. At this lunch community club in Stockton, like, what is nothing changes. Really? Nothing changes. Yeah. They're not yet convinced by anyone. Obviously, you hear all these things, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, and nothing ever happens. It doesn't change. So you just feel really disillusioned? Yeah. yeah. These voters cynical, but amongst them, one issue is dominant. You're constantly looking to see how much you've got left on that meter. Eh? And that can drain you, can't it? What I normally have is about £60 pounds left. Yeah to get food and drink yeah. in the house. But part of what Boris Johnson talked about in 2019, they promised to let, you know, but level up, we'll but improve, the, but we'll put money... It? But for where you, nothing's it? changed. Nothing's no. changed. It's, it's been harder. It's got worse. Really the economy's showing small signs of recovery, but people here not feeling it. And what do you think of the Labour Party under Starmer? Do you think they might help no. people more? You don't? No. no. Do you like here Starmer? Do you... I do think... He's better than any of the Tories could possibly yeah. do, and I will admit that. I don't think he's like the standards of what, what countries need him, but I think he's right in the middle. Basically, for me, it's whoever will be able to lower the cost of living. It's, I think it's, it's terrible right now. Do you think Keir Starmer will do it? Um, I think there's got to be a change, whatever. I, it has to be a change of government. It's not working. It's 13 years. We should see that. What do you think of him? I prefer Boris. I like Boris. He was like, he was my, he was my like kind of cup of tea, you know. Johnson wants a vote winner in these parts, but he's now gone, and Labour are battling to win voters here back and regain control of Stockton Council. This is a key local election battleground and it's smaller fights like this up and down the country that tell the story of a bigger war, the battle for 2024. So these elections are a big deal. What are we looking for? Can Starmer show that he's still on course to beat the Conservatives next year? Can Sunak put in a strong set of results and give the Conservatives a slither of hope? I'm looking more towards sort of an independent. Um, I've lost confidence in the Conservative Party. I don't feel they're doing enough for uh, us as a working, a working people. I've also lost confidence. I don't really have confidence in Labour. Okay. Uh, I don't feel Keir Starmer's a strong enough leader. Oh, I like Boris Johnson. I thought he'd done a good yeah. job. Stephen, also fond of the past PM, is sticking with the party for now. Would you vote for Rishi next time or Rishi Sunak? Um, he hasn't really had a fair chance at the minute. Whoever gets in, they're going to get a rough deal anyway, you know. But personally, I think he's doing OK, and I would vote for him, yeah, I would. How votes trade this week tell him for next year's much bigger test. The battle has begun ahead of next year's all-out war. Beth Rigby, Sky News in Stockton.